You know, it is crazy, but thanks to AI, I can now create top selling t-shirt designs in less than five minutes. And honestly, it truly blows my mind because previously it would have taken me hours to create just one t-shirt design. But now, thanks to AI apps like Midjourney and ChatGPT, I can create them in less than five minutes. So let me show you how using this five step process. So let's get started with step one, create a variation template idea. So Sarah, you ask, what even is a variation template idea? Well, here's an example. Take this popular print-on-demand t-shirt here being sold on Amazon. It's being sold and printed through Amazon's in-house print-on-demand service, Amazon Merch. Well, Merch Informer, the Amazon Merch research tool, estimates it's made 72 sales in the past month, which at a price of $17.99 per shirt means it's sold roughly $1,295. But you see, here's where it gets really interesting, right? Check this out, this Amazon print on demand store hasn't just made this one t-shirt. Nope, they've made a bunch of others too, except instead of them saying mommy of the birthday princess, they say things like brother of the birthday princess or sister of the birthday princess. They all have the same template, but they swap in different words. And well, I added up all of the estimated sales for the t-shirts on Merch Informer, and it estimated that combined, all of these had had 570 sales in the past month, which means they sold roughly $10,248, which is about $342 per day. That's a nice passive income just from having to create one t-shirt template. And here's the thing, right? T-shirt stores on pretty much all print on demand platforms are crushing it using variation templates. For example, take these popular dog themed t-shirts on Redbubble. It's the same template, but they just swap in different pictures of dog breeds, which lets them quickly scale their sales by targeting different dog breed niches. And take these t-shirts here on Etsy, it's the same t-shirt template but they've been able to take this one template and scale up their earnings by just swapping in different niches. So you can probably see the power in this strategy. However, to be successful in it, you do need to use your own human brain to be creative because you do need to come up with your own variation template idea. However, once we have come up with our own idea, we can use AI to generate the text and picture swaps for us. And luckily for us, there is a trick that can make it much faster to help you come up with your own variation template idea. And that trick is the cross idea formula. Now, some of you watching will probably know what the cross idea formula is. Since I did show in a recent video how I used it to launch a successful Etsy store. It's a technique that I have developed to help speed up the process of creating viral print on demand ideas. And the premise is simple. You take one popular idea and then you take another popular idea and then you cross them together to create something that is new. So here is an example. Recently, I was browsing Etsy looking at the top trending funny t-shirts. And as I did that, I found this trending design here aimed at people who were interested in fishing. And as you can see, the t-shirt subverts expectations. Because instead of the acronym WTF meaning something rude, in this case here, it's turned into a funny, relatable joke that people that love fishing will relate to. So I saw that style of t-shirt that people liked and I decided to do a search for similar t-shirts, but this time themed around dog t-shirts since dogs are one of the most popular niches on Etsy. And guess what? No t-shirts using this type of joke had been made besides one dog suit that was not a t-shirt, which means that there is a really great opportunity here for us to take these two popular ideas and cross them together to create something new. And so yes, we now had our variation template idea. We'll create WTF t-shirts targeting a wide range of niches that currently don't have good t-shirts in it already, such as dogs. So then let's move on to step two, generating t-shirt slogans fast with ChatGPT. Okay, so no joke, ChatGPT is an absolute game changer when it comes to generating t-shirt slogans. Seriously, this is the part that probably would have taken me the longest in the past. I would have had to sit there for hours trying to brainstorm and come up with funny, clever acronyms that fit these exact letters for each niche, which is actually really hard to do. But now I can use ChatGPT, although you don't have to use ChatGPT if you don't want to. Pretty much all of the AI chatbots out there do work great, so if you prefer to use Copilot or you prefer to use Gemini, otherwise known as Google Bard, 
you can use that too. Either way, it's up to you. So I'm just gonna be using ChatGPT to create my prompts. So all I did was ask it to create a phrase in the same style as our variation template idea. Now, here is the thing, right? You'll want to experiment with different prompts during this step because as I will show you, it pays off. So let's check out what ChatGPT made for me. Okay, so not all of the results were bad. In fact, there were some that I could definitely work with, but I also noticed a lot of silly cutesy ones that frankly were quite rubbish, <laughs> like number 13, Woofers Tantrum Fiesta. That is just really dumb and honestly just useless. If you take a look at our t-shirt that inspired our variation template idea in the first place, part of the appeal of it is that it's an acronym joke that is in the deadpan humor style. So learning from my mistake, I came and again prompted ChatGPT, but this time I prompted it by explaining both the type of humor that I wanted the acronym to have and very importantly, I also explained what type of humor I did not want it to have and then I let it do its magic. And so this time around, you can see that the results were much better. We didn't have any of those useless cutesy acronyms from before and ChatGPT just stuck to the style that we had originally wanted. Now, there were a few here that I could have run with, but for this video, I decided to see what we could create with the when's the food acronym. So I came and asked ChatGPT to create me more variations of this acronym using the same idea, but switching out different words. This gave me a lot more options to choose from. And well, ultimately, I decided to move forward with the joke, will thieve food. Since, well, as I'm sure a lot of other dog owners out there can relate, my dog Starbuck, as cute as he is, is also an absolute little rascal and he will totally steal your food if he ever gets a chance. And here's the thing, it's actually quite cool that we now have this tweet ChatGPT prompt that gives us the exact style of t-shirt slogan that we want. Because it's now really simple for us to scale up our t-shirt design creation because we can just swap in different niches into the prompt and we can get new acronyms aimed at new customers in just seconds. So in my opinion, spending the time up front to tweak it is well worth the investment of our time. And by the way, if you're watching this and you would like to learn even more of my tips and tricks for using AI to generate top selling print on demand products, then you should be sure to download a copy of my free ebook, The Six Steps That Six Figure Online Stores Follow to make over $10,000 a month. You'll find a link to download my free ebook in the video description below. So then let's now move on to step three, generate t-shirt pictures. Yes, now for this step, I chose to use Midjourney as my AI image generator of choice, but you can use any of them that you like. So if you prefer using Dali, or you prefer using a free one like Stable Diffusion or Leonardo, that's totally fine, it's up to you. Either way, come into your AI art program of choice and develop a prompt by experimenting around. And so, for example, here's what I did. First, I came to the settings and I set the style in Midjourney to be very high and then I prompted it describing what type of image I wanted Mid Journey to create and then I let it do its magic. So here were the results. As you can see, while beautiful, they were definitely not simple silhouette pictures. So this time I experimented again by lowering the style setting to be just high and then I again prompted it and I decided to keep the same prompt as before and I again let Midjourney do its magic. And this was the result. As you can see, the images that it made this time were much closer, although they were just a little too detailed for what I wanted. So again, I experimented by lowering the style setting in Midjourney to medium. And because I had great results before, I decided to keep my same prompt. And then again, I let Midjourney do its magic. And here is what it created. And I absolutely loved the third option. It was simple, clean, and the innocent sleeping expression on the dog was the perfect contrast to the slogan. And so as you can see, experimenting and tweaking your prompt absolutely pays off. Especially because now that we've developed our prompt, it is much easier for us to create new t-shirts in the future because we can just swap out, say, the corgi in the prompt for a different niche, such as beagles, 
and now we can generate within seconds a great picture to fit our new t-shirt design which targets a brand new customer. But yes, I came in and I chose my favourite picture and I downloaded it and I popped it into the free Photoshop clone Photopea and I made a couple of small tweaks. And then I moved on to step four, upscale and edit AI artwork. Okay, so as much as I love our little cute corgi picture, it's currently got a very big problem. It has a white background box around it, which means that if we printed it as is onto a t-shirt, it would print with that white background box around it too. Instead, we want it to print like this, just the dog with no white background. Luckily, this is easy to do, and to edit my AI image, I'm going to be using three apps. The first is the online PNG tools. I'm just going to use the color replacement tool to change my black silhouette corgi into the perfect shade of blue that I need for my variation template. This was very specific, by the way, to my specific variation template idea that I wanted to create. For your one, you might not need to change the color of your AI picture, and so if you don't need to change it, feel free to skip this step. Although I do highly recommend checking out the website because they do have a lot of great tools that you can use. They have a free plan and they have an optional paid plan too. And then after that, the next tool that I used is Adobe Express Free Background Remover. You just drag and drop your picture into it and it'll remove the background for you. And I'll tell you something, it truly blows my mind that AI has now made tools like this free because just two years ago I would have to pay money to get a reliable background remover and now it's just free. And then next we need to just upscale it. There is a fantastic free image upscaler app on replicate.com that you can use and so now we can print our image onto a t-shirt and it will print in high quality. So then let's now move on to step five, creating our design variation template. So for this step, I'm gonna be using my favorite design app, Canva. Although you don't have to use Canva, you can use any design app that you like. So if you prefer to use Kittle, you can use that. Or if you prefer using Photoshop or the free Photoshop clone Photopea, that's totally fine too. But for me personally, I absolutely love Canva because it has so many drag and drop elements. I'll have an affiliate link to where you can get a free 30 day trial to Canva Pro in the video description below. But yes, just come and drag and drop in your upscaled AI art image and then come and actually design the variation template idea that you came up with before around that picture. So for me, I'm using the WTF t-shirt as my inspiration for my variation template idea. And so creating a template similar to that is actually pretty simple. It's really just one big text box on top of the picture and then one small text box below the picture and then choosing a deadpan font style for the text and then switching in the joke that ChatGPT uh, created for me earlier into the text box. And then boom, look at that. Our variation template has been created, nice. So now that I've made my template, I'm actually gonna do two more things. Firstly, I'm gonna come and download my image so that I can upload it onto a t-shirt. To do that, I'll increase the image resolution to the max, and I'll also tick to remove the background, and then I'll save the image as a PNG file. With those settings selected, the image will now print in high resolution onto a t-shirt. And once that's done, I'm actually gonna save that t-shirt again. Except this time when I click share, I will instead opt to save it as a brand template file. This will now save it into your Canva account as its own individual template. Which is great because it means that to create new t-shirts in different niches, you just need to open up the template and switch in the new AI generated picture and change up the text to the slogan that ChatGPT creates for you, rather than having to recreate it from scratch again. And I'm actually gonna do something else for you in this video. I'm gonna show you an optional secret step. Because here's the thing, if you take a look at our original t-shirt that inspired my template, you will see that it has this very cool distressed look. Well, we sadly can't add these in using Canva because while they do have distressed textures in the app, all they do is just add black specks to our design, which if we tried to print onto a t-shirt, would just show up as black marks, which isn't what we want. Instead, we want our design to look like this, to have distressed markings be transparent. And to do that, we will need to use a more advanced photo editing app other than Canva. Now, do keep in mind, not all t-shirts need to have the distressed look, but it does look pretty cool. So I will give you a quick tutorial on how to add this into your t-shirt in 30 seconds for free. So first up, you'll need to get a distressed texture image like this one that I'm gonna be using here. 
Now, Canva does have these in its library, but I don't think that we're legally allowed to download textures from Canva as standalone files, sadly. But Creative Fabrica, another cool website, has distressed textures like this that you can download using their free trial accounts. That is a secret trick that I have, so I will have an affiliate link to Creative Fabrica in the video description below. Or alternatively, if you already have a picture of a distressed texture, you can just use that too. Either way, it's up to you. So once I had my texture, I came to the free Photoshop clone, Photopea, and I uploaded my t-shirt design and I placed the distressed texture on top of it. Then I right-clicked the texture layer and I clicked Rasterized. Then I hid the t-shirt layer and I then clicked Select and I chose Color Range and I set it all the way to 200. And then I selected the t-shirt layer and clicked edit and clicked clear. And then I unhid the t-shirt layer and I deleted the texture layer. And that's it. We now have our own AI generated t-shirt design that is ready to sell. So then, if you'd like to learn more about how I earn passive income online with print on demand, be sure to watch my next video here on screen and I'll see you in the next video.